Alright, so in this video we're going to show you two different ways to multiply a fraction by a whole number, or a whole number by a fraction, whatever. Um, two ways. One way is the repeated addition, and the other way is to use a tape diagram. So let's get started. So we're going to start with repeated addition, and uh, let's start by looking at uh, 4 times 2 thirds. And so I want you to think of this as four copies of two-thirds. So four times two-thirds can be represented using repeated addition as two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. All right, that's because we are adding four copies of two-thirds. And so when you add those together, you get eight thirds, which is equal to two and two thirds. Now, if you're not sure how to go from the eight thirds to the two and two thirds, I, I have a bazillion other videos that you can watch that show how to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number, but that's the idea. One way is to think about repeated addition. So let's do a little bit of practice. Now over here, it's three fourths times three, so you're going to have to first think about using the commutative property to change this to 3 times 3 fourths, or you could do that in your head. And now you've got three copies of 3 fourths, right? Because the commutative property uh, is uh, true in multiplication. All right, so now it says 3 times 3 fourths. So all we have to do is do 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. And when we add those together, we get 9 fourths, which is equal to 2 and 1 fourth. All right, so that's the repeated addition. Now, if we were going to use the repeated addition here, oh my goodness, we would have to write 28 copies of 3 fourths. So that'd be 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, blah, 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 blah. Oh my goodness, that is just so much to do right there, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to use a tape diagram. So another way to think of this is to think of this with the word of. So 3 fourths of 28. And so we can use a tape diagram to represent that 28. So here's a, a tape diagram, and that tape diagram represents... 28. And we want to know what is 3 fourths of 28. So we're going to take this 28 and we're going to cut, cut it into four parts. And I want to know how much is 3 fourths. So that's 3 fourths of 28. Well, I, if we're going to take that 28 and cut it up into four parts, I can see that each part is going to be seven. And so three fourths of 28 is going to be three sevens, which equals 21. So I can see that three fourths of eight is equal to 21, all right? So let's do one more practice just like that. So let's do, um, Oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's do uh, two-fifths of 30, uh, 40. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Two-fifths of 40. So that remember, that's two-fifths times 40, right? So that, uh, let's see, this of means we're really doing two-fifths times 40. 40, all right, so we're going to represent that 40. So here's our 40. And I need to cut it up into fifths because it says so right here. So I'm going to cut it into five equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our five parts. And I want to know two fifths. I want to know... Uh, two of those fifths. So then all we have to do 
is do 40 divided by 5, so that's going to give us 8. So each of these fifths is equal to 8. And then I want 2 of those fifths, so these 2, which is 16. So I got 2 fifths times 40 is equal to 16. So that's two different ways to multiply a whole number by a fraction. One way is the repeated addition right here. The other method is the tape diagram method right there. They both work all the time. Just depending on the numbers, sometimes one method is easier than the other method to use. So choose your method or learn them both and uh, get mul multiplying.